Social security is the foundation of economic security for millions of Americans. 163 million Americans pay social security taxes, 59 million collect monthly benefits. About one in four family receives income from social security. Social Security provides benefits to retired workers through OAH and Survivors Insurance OASI, to people with disabilities through Disability Insurance DI, and to families as well as to some survivors of deceased workers. Another element is Hospital Insurance or HI. Both the employee and the employer pays into the system 6.2% plus 1.45%. If you are so prop, you'd be paying for both the employer and the employee's portion, so the entire 15.3% instead of just 7.65%. How much benefits can you get? It depends on how long you have worked, how much did you make, and when you choose your file for your benefits. In order to be eligible for Social Security benefits, you need to earn 40 credits. In 2016, you receive one credit for each $1,260 of earnings, up to a maximum of four credits each year. To earn 40 credits, it will take 10 years. In order to figure out how to apply your earnings, you need to figure out your AIME, or your Annual Index Monthly Earnings. It is your top 35 years of earnings, zero on certain years if you work less than 35, in our example, take the total index earnings, divide by 35, and divide by 12 to get your AIME. There are three tiers to the AIME calculation. These dollar amounts are indexes that change over years. The gist of the calculation is to apply a high percentage of low AIME, 90%, medium range, 32%, and high dollar range, 15%, so low AIME people will get most of the benefits satisfied. There are payment reductions if you decide to claim early, or payment enhancements if you decide to claim late. This has to do with your normal retirement age, which differs depending on when you're born. Take a look at the next slide. When is your normal retirement age? If you're born between 1943 and 1954, it's 66 years old. It increases by two months each year after that. If you're born in 1960 or later, your normal retirement age is 67. When can you start receiving benefits? The earliest is 62. The early withdrawal penalty is 5 ninths of the percent for each month before your normal retirement age up to the first 36 months. After the first 36 months, it is 5 twelfths of 1 percent for each additional month. Example, if your normal retirement age is 66 and you claim at 62, your reduction for the first 36 months is 20%, and the next 12 months, 5%. Total reduction for 48 months is 25%. What about the benefits of delaying your claim? For each additional month beyond your normal retirement age, you are entitled to an additional two thirds of a percent. You can delay up until 70 and no more. Example, if you delay claim to age 70 and your normal retirement age is 67, by delaying your claim for 36 months, you increase your benefits by 24%. If you look at the claim difference between age 62 and 70, instead of a 30% reduction, you get a 24% increase a total difference of 54%. Since the payments are inflation adjusted, the difference is huge. This may be a good way to provide for longevity. Think carefully. You can claim either 100% of your own benefit or 50% of your spousal benefit, whichever is larger, provided that you stay married for 10 years. If your benefit is 500 and spousal 600, you can claim spousal but not both. If your spouse has passed away, you can step in and get 100%. Here are some additional benefits for widow, widower, a married child, dependent parents if you passed away, and also disability insurance. Is Social Security benefits taxable? Yes, but no more than 85% of your total benefits. Again, there are two tiers. It depends on your covered income, which is your AGI, 
plus non-taxable interest, plus half of your Social Security benefits. If you work for the state and city government, even if you don't pay into the Social Security system, you are eligible for certain types of pensions. Check here for the windfall elimination provisions. Finally, do log on to the Social Security website and check your Social Security statement. Check for accuracy and misstatements. Also try estimating your benefits using the calculators. Now that you know a little more about the Social Security system, go online and read more. It pays to know your benefits. Thank you.